all right guys welcome to our channel once again today you'll learn about the concept of hybridization in carbon so hybridization is essentially the mixing of standard atomic orbitals to form new orbitals so we know that carbon in the grand state has the following electronic configuration that's 1s2 2s2 and 2p2 so with this if i take the 2s orbital this way and the 2p orbital this way i'll notice that i have just two unpaired electrons so i have two unpaired electrons so this means that i can only have two bonds in the grand state But then we know that carbon always forms four bonds. So this is where the concept of excitation comes into play. Now, for this carbon to form up to four bonds here, the electrons have to be excited so when i take this an electron from here and fix it over here now that is just the major concept of excitation now this means excitation this in the excited state an electron will leave the s orbital and then migrate to fill the empty p orbital so ultimately we'll have this where i have the 2s orbital and i have the 2p orbital so notice that the remaining one electron here migrated from here to fill up this mtp orbital so this this is a process of excitation all right so having gotten the concept of excitation i'd like us to now proceed to the hybridization of orbitals so let us take note that alkanes are sp3 hybridized alkenes on the other hand uh, sp2 hybridized while alkynes are uh, sp hybridized all right so having gotten these concepts let's look at the hybridization of alkanes so basically if we have these So let's recall that the hybridization is simply the mixing of the orbitals. So this is 2s and this is 2p. 
So for our canes, the mixing will occur in this manner. The two S will mix with the two P just this way and then they will form an S P three. So Notice that the two S here is mixing with the whole three electrons in the two P. So we have S and then we have three in P. So we have one in S, we have three in P. So making it S P three. So we have an sp3 hybridization in our canes. All right. So for our canes, we have our s orbital here, and we have our p orbital here. So mixing occurs in such a way that the S here mixes with two of the P. So we have one P left aside. So this gives us S P two because these two will mix with this S. So we have S P two. So the whole of this is a sigma bond and then we have the remaining two P. So this is a two P Z and this gives a pi bond. So with this we can tell that our kings exhibit an sp2 hybridization so let's go ahead and wipe this now for our kinds when we have this this is our s orbital specifically the 2s orbital and this is our 2p So, if mixing occurs or if there is a hybridization, perhaps one of these will mix with this and then ultimately we'll have just one from here and one from here and as such we can say this is sp hybridized all right so if only this should combine with this then two of these will be left so we have the two py and two p z so this gives pi bonds for this and then sigma bonds for this
So with this, we can tell that our kinds are sp hybridized. So in summary, I'll simply make a table to show the hybridization states of carbon. So over here, I'll have an example. So over here, I'll have number of bonds. So down here, I'll have the hybridization. And then lastly, I'll have the shape. So notice that an example of the alkane is the CH4. And the structure looks quite like this. So it will have four bonds. So remember it's sp3. So the hybridization is sp3 for the alkanes. And then looking at this, this is tetrahedral in shape. So next, I'll have an alkene here. So let's call this the number of sigma bonds. We have three sigma bonds. So this is the first sigma bond. This is the second sigma bond. This is the third sigma bond. This over here is a pi bond. So this is sigma. This is sigma is sigma so if it's a double bond now this over here will be a pi so i have just three sigma bonds so this is sp2 hybridized and the shape is trigonal planar All right. Lastly, I have either of these or these. So notice that I have a sigma bond here. I have a sigma bond here. That's two. Whereas this is pi and this is also pi. So this is a sigma bond. This is a sigma bond. The additional bond here is pi. So you notice this will yield just two sigma bonds. This will also yield just two sigma bonds. So I have two sigma bonds here. And this is sp hybridized. And what's the shape? The shape is linear. So that is all about the hybridization in carbon, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also ensure to share with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.